matter with you? Good evening, Nora. Oh. You asked me to let you know. Where is she? She's still sitting there. She's out like a light. You go on over to Jed's office. He'll take you home. I gotta stay in town for a while. Hobie took the girl home to her father's ranch. Her parents had been wealthy descendants of a fine Spanish family. Hobie remembered bustling courtyards and corrals full of fine horses and top-grade stock, with many trained hands to help when he and the girl were children. Now he found emptiness and a single old woman as housekeeper. I'll sit with it, all right? Here. Go on out now. Get some sleep. have happened to me. You killed my husband. That's what happened to me. When I walked in, he was whipping an old man to death. And then he tried to kill me. I want him back. get any sleep at all last night? What's the matter? I spent the night over at Merrily's. Merrily's? Yeah. All right. You better discuss your love life. Especially when it has to do with women like that. Okay, you don't understand. I understand. I just don't want to talk about it. Please not make so much noise. You're going to wake the Tommy up. There's chores to do before church anyway. Just let him sleep a little while longer. Nora! You... Will you sit down, please? This is hard enough without you making it any harder. What is it? Marilee sent the telegram and the notes. Says she's going to kill you and make me watch it. Well, why? I don't understand. What has she got against me? A couple of months ago, I had to kill this boy, and it turns out that he was her husband. She doesn't care about you. She wants to hurt me. I'm sorry, Norma. Now, we'll leave Tommy at Sunday school. We'll be safe there. What does this have to do with Tommy? Well, nothing. Just possible that, that, I mean, there's no sense in taking any chances. 
You keep her away from Tommy. Do you hear me? I will, Nora. There isn't anything going to happen. You're satisfied with your precious job. Not enough that I have to worry about you being Nora, sent home quit. to be buried. My own you face. quit, that now. That's what she wants. She no, wants you to go to her. That's what she's gonna get right now. Mommy! All right, baby. This morning we're gonna have breakfast with Jed Phillips and his deputy. Well, I can't throw her into jail for more than a day or so unless it's here to do something. So that doesn't solve anything. Afraid not. Well, come on, Nora. Let's go on out the house. Get your things. I want you and Tommy at the hotel for a while. That's too easy to get at. later. Maybe one of us will come up with a bright idea. Hobie, I uh, ordered some things at the store. I'm going to have to cancel. Well, all right. I'll meet you over there in a couple minutes. morning for church, isn't it, Mrs. Worthington? Certainly is. Thank you very much. Better do it. Don't stay till your leg gets better. Well, it's healed enough. Stubborn, stubborn. Isn't there anything anybody can do to make you give up that badge? Well, the way I feel today, I think I could be bought off. I'm told every man has his price. What's your price? You got a nickel? It's 
three cents for the badge and two cents for me. I'm sorry, Hobie. You liked her a lot, didn't you? Well, I always thought I'd come back someday, see what she was up to. And I waited too long. Whatever it was that happened, I'm sorry, too. I'll send you a nickel anytime you say. Thank you.